Not from there. Not no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess for That's the person it is. Yeah. It's Friday, and that means we're talking movies. It's true. Which ones? <laughs> <laughs> there are a few out. There are three. We already talked about Baby Driver on Wednesday. So we, uh, by the way, that got a very enthusiastic B plus from me, but that's rated R. The first movie we're going to talk about today is a PG sequel your kids probably want to see. Steve Carell is back as Gru, and this time he's up against X-80s child star turned supervillain Balthazar Bratt, voiced by South Park's Trey Parker, by the way. Despicable Me 3. There's only one supervillain whose fashion sense is quite that dated. Freeze! Balthazar Brat. Uh, I want every agent on the scene immediately. Agents Brucey are closing fast. Yes! Wait, why? What did you call us? Brucey. You know, Gru and Lucy mushed together. Brucey. Oh, I like it, but not a lot. Uh, Brat. Bratz visuals are pretty funny. His dance scenes are some of the best this movie has to offer, but one of only seven subplots overloading this 90-minute movie. Yeah, Gru also has a twin brother named Drew, whom Carell also voices. Lucy, voiced by Kristen Wiig, is also trying to be a mom to Margot, Edith, and Agnes. Agnes is on a quest to find a unicorn. There's a lot more going on there. The minions are there, of course. They're so popular, they get their own separate story within the story, and that's not all. There's so much more going on here, but apart from the potty humor, there aren't that many jokes. And what a waste of Trey Parker. His character is visually funny, but he doesn't utter a single joke in the whole movie. The Despicable Me franchise has really lost steam, if it ever really had it. But sadly, they set this up for another lackluster sequel. The animation is cute and colorful. Again, the 80s stuff is visually funny, but probably only for the parents. The kids young enough to laugh at the potty humor weren't even born in the 80s or the 90s or the aughts. A very average C from me for Despicable Me 3. I've enjoyed those movies, but apparently You're the one. we're going down. I know, it's my <laughs> fault. My fault. <laughs> nope, you and you and Rex. <laughs> yeah. But it's a shame that this is the kids' movie for the weekend. Baby Driver and the House are decidedly R. Okay. So if you're looking for something this week, maybe wait for Spider-Man Homecoming or maybe check out Cars 3 or Wonder Woman. You saw Wonder Woman, right? Yeah, I loved Damn that. Damn liked it. There you yeah. go. So if you have kids... That was visually, visually stunning. It was visually <laughs> stunning, wasn't it? Yeah, I was okay with that one.